top teacher for 2019 from Paragon Charter Academy, Carmel McDonald, and her principal, Ben Creech. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. Thank you. It wasn't the first time that uh, Paragon has had top teachers in the uh, annual pres uh, presentation of awards, but I think it was the first time that you were number one. Uh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's correct. That was uh, a surprise and an honor and a delight. It was great. It sounds like, as I was reading your story, that teaching was always in your blood. You had planned to be a teacher since your elementary days. Yeah, um, I felt absolutely that that's always what I wanted to do. Of course, when you start, there are challenges you never thought you would face before, but I've, um, I've always known what it, it was what I wanted to do. I was an administrator for a little while um, and ended up back in the classroom just through some circumstances and remembered how much I loved it and went back in. So, absolutely. Well, Ben, I know you're very proud and it's great for the school to have a top teacher. Yeah, I, I think it's, it's wonderful, I think, just in general to highlight teaching. Mm -hmm. I think teaching is an incredibly difficult uh, profession to be into. I think it's one of those uh, double-edged swords. It's really challenging, but it's one of the most rewarding things I think you can do. Um, so we get an opportunity to impact lives, and I don't think a lot of careers can say that. Um, we, we change lives, and uh, Carmel, I think, is a, a shining example of how she starts off, even in sixth grade, sometimes we think sixth graders uh, maybe set in their ways in a way, kind of in a kindergarten through eighth grade building, but Carmel does a wonderful job honing in on their strengths and building off of those strengths and just celebrating kids. So. It's, it's an amazing thing to watch and observe. I always love going into her class. It's like going into another little uh, subculture of the, of the universe, I guess, <laughs> to say. It's just so, it's so delightful, um, the way the kids respond to her, the way that um, she really works to give them ownership. I always love going in there when they're teaching. Um, and it, it's just a, a great way to, to highlight students' abilities. You're right, Ben. I, 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 I agree. like going in when she's teaching, too, just to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> It, Thanks. <laughs> it is. It is a tough job. It really <clears throat> is. And I think all the teachers that uh, spoke at the top teachers ceremony all credited uh, a teacher that they had mm -hmm. growing up. And I think you did as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, my teacher in sixth and seventh grade, and I, I didn't fail sixth grade. I just had the teacher <laughs> twice. Um, and she was wonderful. And she was really firm with the students, but I knew absolutely that she cared about me and took personal interest in me. And the environment in her room was no joke. I mean, your work was done. You were paying attention. I mean, um, but I think it's interesting that when you ask a lot of kids way down the road what teachers they remember, it's not necessarily the, the buddy, buddy, friend teachers. Sometimes it are, they're the teachers that have pushed the kids the most. And that was her for me. So I've, I've stolen a few of her tactics, I think. Well, good. Yeah. And she's not here in Jackson. She, she, you actually grew up in British Columbia? I did, yes. Yeah, so moved, moved here about 13 years ago. We have a, a clip yeah. from your uh, speech at the uh, award ceremony. So let's take a look. Thanks. <laughs> if I was in the classroom, I'd say now would be a perfect time for a brain break. Or turn to your shoulder partner and talk to them about you. Or not, I, I won't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think we should. Uh, I will keep it short, though. Um, I want to start by saying happy anniversary to my husband, Dave. This is Dave right here. It is our 21st anniversary. So thank you, Jackson Magazine, for providing this romantic backdrop for our day. He saved us. Uh, probably a minor argument and some time on Yelp, so thank you. Um, I'm not going to speak for very long today. Um, I need to keep the emotions down and be mindful. Um, but I want to share what's in my heart, and it's pure gratitude. Um, first, and this bears repeating, um, Jackson Magazine, I think it is amazing that you honor teachers. Thank you so much. And the many sponsors here and community members, um, Hearst Foundation, that you would honor the profession of teaching. Um, it means something, so thank you. 
Uh, Jackson Magazine, thank you to your wonderful staff for acknowledging the hard work of the educators here and all over the city. And when you publicize the good work of teachers, it makes a difference in the collective attitude of our community about education and about local teachers and their role. And it impacts our schools. So thank you for doing that. Teaching is becoming an increasingly thankless career. All teachers in all types of schools need as much positive publicity as possible. So I want to thank you so much for highlighting all the things that are going well and all of the things that are good uh, because we just need more of that out in our news. So thank you so much. This award is great confirmation for me that following my heart back into the classroom and following the prompting of the Holy Spirit to teach again was the right move. Well done. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> well, you did. I, I know that you knew, you knew in advance, but it was a surprise when you were, were notified because the process in how they choose the top teachers is pretty mm -hmm. intensive. Mm -hmm. They actually come into your classroom, they audit you, they, they do. there's uh, questionnaires. It's, it's pretty intense. Yeah, the, the nominations were a surprise, and that was really neat. But yes, we had, um, I had couple people come in and um, observe and then long interviews and debriefing afterwards uh, as well as you know phone conversations and um, you know other interv written interviews and things like that so it was a long process but it was good to reflect on why I do what I do and I, I enjoyed the process it was a good good reminder I think the other uh, top teachers were uh, early elementary uh, for the most part it was a special a, education a special ed mm -hmm. gym teacher Mm -hmm. You have middle schoolers. I do. So that sounds like a, I, I, the teachers that I know, that's the age that they don't want to teach. <laughs> <laughs> I do hear that where they'll say, oh my gosh, why do you do that? And I've, I've never mm -hmm. not taught middle school. I love it. Um, they are, middle schoolers are very odd people, but I fit right in with that, resonate with that. Um, and I think it's a really unique opportunity to help them become young adults. They're starting to think critically, but they don't have a ton of experience yet. Um, and sometimes matching up those two things is really fun. Uh, that's an interesting dot to connect. They really do still need skills. Oh, there they are. These are your classes? Yeah, your that's students. super day. That was, that was a really <laughs> fun day. Um, we all, yeah, anyways, I could talk all, all day about the fun things that we do. But yeah, they, they like to have fun. And I think <clears throat> if I'm having fun, they're having fun. Mm -hmm. So. And, and you're good at, I understand, uh, middle school speak. You can, uh, <laughs> you can I'm figure unfleek. out what they, they're talking about. <laughs> they're using words. They're, they have their own vocabulary, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And I did learn the Fortnite dances, by the way. Fortnite. I will not do them. Oh. Too. But yeah. Um, if you give them a little bit of choice, mm -hmm. they are thrilled with that, feel really empowered by that, and mm -hmm. that's important. Um, they'll use that, and it's very motivating. One of the things that uh, you are known for at Paragon is, is uh, something called close reading. And when I first heard about it, I thought, well, that's just like this, <laughs> but it's, that's not what it is. As we get older, we get better at it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm a close reader. <laughs> But it's not, what does it mean? Basically it's, I mean, with the kids we call it close reading. I, with, with students I'd say it's microscope reading. So of course I ask my students to read as many books as possible and we really celebrate that, how, how many minutes they read or pages they read. But close reading is where we take a very small passage of something and we get really deep into it. Why did the author choose these words? Why are they arranged that way? What are the themes of this? What does the author want us to think about? How does it make us feel? Um, and was that intentional? Um, and what I really like about it, besides just the experience, which is fun, a lot of the students have learned to emulate that in their writing. So I, I love teaching writing. Um, so a lot of them, it's interesting to see how that plays out in their writing. With, and then also a lot of them get hooked on whatever author that we've just done a few sentences of. And they say, do we have a book about that in the library? I really liked this. And so it broadens their horizons too. So it's my favorite time of day. Then the uh, 
teachers are nominated by either their peers or administrators. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what was it uh, about Carmel that uh, got her consideration for this? Yeah, um, I think one of the things that we noticed, and I, and I, I mentioned it earlier, is when, when you walk into her classroom, you know you're in an atmosphere that's centered completely around students. And I think that's what sets, I think, teachers that just exemplify the profession really do well. They know they're there to make kids the centerpiece and make, make that classroom all about them. So I almost get teary thinking yeah. about it because I just, I love that. Um, when you walk into a classroom and you see it's centered on a kid, it doesn't get better than that. You want your kid in there. So my kids go to Paragon and I hope they have Carmel as a teacher or Mrs. McDonald because um, it's, it's just powerful. And I think that needs to be recognized, not just in our school community, but that's, that's what any mm -hmm. aspiring teacher wants to have in their classroom. So it's great to highlight teachers um, throughout the county. It's mm -hmm. an incredible honor to have Carmel in our building and represent um, Jackson County in that way because she does that in, in, in just every aspect of her life. I think you're right. I think families will want to have the top teachers uh, teach that's, their that's kids. That's not why I said that. That's not <laughs> a marketing anything. I, I just that's that's completely just genuine about Carmel. How about your own kids? You. Are, did you teach your own kids? Um, not. I did teach my own kids, but they are they have been Paragon kids. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. my son started in kindergarten and graduated eighth, mm -hmm. and my daughter's currently in seventh grade and has been there yeah. since kindergarten. So. Yeah. Um, I love the community. We've been a Paragon family for years and years and years, mm -hmm. and um, there's a lot of great student-centered teachers at Paragon, mm -hmm. and there that's are. why why we stay. And right. so that I know all of their friends, everything they're doing. That's <laughs> <laughs> helpful. <Yeah. laughs> yeah. It was actually your kids that went to Paragon first before you did. started teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So um, my... Uh, my son went there and then I started helping just, I was the lunch mom um, where I would just show up once a week and help with the lunches with the kindergartens. I would hate it when it was oranges because I'd have to peel 27 oranges. <laughs> um, <laughs> and they were the lunch oranges. They're not easy to peel. They're not the easy no, peel. No, they were not the, <laughs> They're bigger, the small right? ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I started doing that and then um, once my certification transferred from Canada, mm -hmm. um, and my daughter started at kindergarten. I started at Paragon. And mm -hmm. Ben has been my boss. So he was my dean and now <laughs> yeah. principal for that whole yeah, time. And I so, really respect him and yeah. I, I'm glad to be there. Yeah. It's a great community. Oh, as principal, I think you can decide uh, which teacher your kids have. <laughs> so I actually don't, uh, I don't do that because I feel like that would be unfair advantage. Um, so teachers, you know, they do a great job of, of knowing kids and they mm -hmm. speak into the, the, the decision making. So, I mean, I think I would, I would have the ability to make an adjustment, <laughs> but uh, no, I, I don't take any part in that. So. Well, congratulately, your, your family was very excited. Oh, uh, they were they, so cute. I could tell how proud mm -hmm. uh, and excited they were for you and mm -hmm. uh, the whole room. Thanks. It was a great night. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing night. And All thank right. you to, for coming to it, sure. too. Sure. It, yeah. it was really neat to see um, all, the, all the top people in education. Mm -hmm. Jackson, I think mm -hmm. Jackson County has great schools, great mm -hmm. educators. It does. They do. So the summer, are you making the giant X's on the calendar squares until the last day of school? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> we can't let the kids see that. <laughs> okay. We're is, learning is, right till the is last this day. Live? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, just no. But, but you, of course you, we all look forward to summer right. vacation. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah. So. so you keep your uh, hooks in the kids during the summer, don't we you? We do. We do. Um, so it's really fun. So I, I brought along our, our not-so-bummer summer. Um, and it's just a lot of fun. So we, we love summer for, for many different reasons. But one of the fun things that uh, we have at su uh, during the summertime is it's a little passport that kids get. So inside of this, and then we, we go to a lot of different places um, around Jackson. So we have an event at Ellis Sharp. We go to the Green Market. Uh, we have a day at the Dollum Center, Nixon Pool. We have fitness fun. We do a, a bike ride on the Falling Waters Trail. Um, Jackson School of the Arts. It's just a lot of fun. So the kids get to go and they get a little stamp in their little summer passport if they complete, uh, you know, because we want kids about two to three hours a week if kids are engaged in some type of learning activity, whether it be um, overly, um, you know, geared, geared towards their summer learning packet, right? This is a 
you know, admittedly, if I was a third grader, this would not be my favorite packet to see on the counter <laughs> waiting for me. But if they're just engaged in something, even if it's if it's not this packet, we want to keep them engaged in the Paragon community and uh, get them to discover some of the great things that are in our community in Jackson. So it's just a lot of fun. What is the last day of school? Uh, we have Friday, June 7th is our last day. So it's coming Couple really weeks, fast. Yeah. yeah. I kind of wish we had a few extra days because there's just so much packed in there. Uh, <laughs> <no comment. laughs> Maybe not everyone share my opinion. I think that. that's just you. I get to stay at the school a little longer than everybody else, so it gets that's lonely true. over the summer. That's true. Dan, you're welcome to hang around all summer. <laughs> Thank you. Great to see you both. Thanks for Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you for letting us be here. Yep. The, the 2019 top teacher, one of the, the ten, and the top five were uh, honored at the uh, banquet. Mm -hmm. at Commonwealth Commerce Center by uh, Jackson Magazine, the Hearst Foundation, uh, CP Federal Credit Union, and uh, others. The top teacher from Paragon, Carmel McDonald, and her principal, Ben Creech. Stay tuned. We've got uh, lots more on